Conjugation is the phenomenon by which our orbitals between the second and third carbon in a dime molecule interact with one another. Now, as we spoke about earlier, conjugation leads to interesting physical properties. So basically, our 1,3 dienes have shorter bonds between the second and third carbon and they are more stable and lower in energy than their unconjugated counterparts. Now, conjugation doesn't only lead to physical properties, it also affects the way that our diene molecule actually undergoes chemical reactions. Now, to see exactly what we mean by that statement, let's take a look at the following reaction. So, let's suppose we look at the addition of HCl under low temperature conditions to 1,3-butadiene. So, the following two products are formed. So, we have product 1 and product 2. Now, product 1 under these low temperature conditions will predominate over product 2. Product 1 is found 75% of the time, while product 2 is found only 25% of the time. Now, in this lecture, we're going to discuss the mechanism by which this reaction takes place and we're going to see how conjugation affects the pathway that our reaction will take. So, let's begin by discussing the first step of this reaction known as the protonation step. Now, there are two possibilities for the protonation step. So, let's look at possibility number one. So, we have our 1,3-butadiene. This is the first carbon, second carbon, third carbon, and fourth carbon. Now, in the first protonation step, basically, this pi bond reacts with this molecule. The pi bond takes away the H, displacing our sing uh, single bond forming the following chloride atom that has a negative charge as well as this carbocation intermediate. And in this possible protonation step, the H atom ends up on the second carbon. And in this case, our positive charge is basically localized onto this first carbon, which happens to be a primary carbon. Now, let's look at the second possibility for our protonation step. In the second possibility, we have this pi bond also taking our H atom, but the H atom ends up on the first carbon and not on the second carbon, forming the following carbocation that has a positive charge on the secondary carbon. So, we see that this is more stable than this because a secondary carbocation is more stable than a primary carbocation. But that's not the entire story because we have conjugation, because we have this pi bond that is in close proximity to this empty 2p orbital to our positive charge we see that the double bond can basically jump to this region here. So, this basically delocalizes the positive charge and the positive charge now jumps back and forth between this position and this position. And this delocalization as a result of resonance stabilization is a stabilizing effect. In fact, because of this, because of conjugation, this this protonation step will be the step that will take place in this reaction and this step under these conditions will not be observed. Now, what about the second step? Well, the second step, we basically begin with these intermediates as well as our chloride atom. The chloride atom uses its lone pair of electrons to basically attack either this positive charge, this empty 2p orbital, in which case it, form, it forms product 1, which is also known as the 1,2 addition product because our chloride goes onto the second carbon and this H goes onto the first carbon, or the lone pair of electrons can attack the end carbon, the primary carbon, the 
fourth carbon forming the second product and this is known as 1,4 addition product. So once again, if we count the carbons, it's one, two, three, four. In the first protonation step, the H goes onto the first carbon. In the second step, our CL can either go in the second or fourth carbon. So this is called the one, two addition and one, four addition. Now under conditions of low temperature, for example, at about negative 80 degrees Celsius, we see that the one, product, the 1-2 addition product will dominate over the second product, the 1-4 addition. Now the reason that this actually takes place, the reason that under low temperature conditions one will dominate over two will be explored in, the, uh, in a future lecture. Uh, but I will mention that the reason for this has to do with thermodynamic versus kinetic control. We'll see later that if we actually increase the temperature to a greater temperature, that product two, the one four addition, will predominate over product one. So once again, we see that in this lecture, conjugation can actually determine the pathway that our reaction will take place. So conjugation influences the way that 1,3-butadiene will undergo a chemical reaction. Specifically in this step, this step will predominate and this step will not occur because this has resonance stabilization as a result of our conjugated system, conjugated molecule.